What's going on guys? Chris here, back again with another video on the channel. In today's video, I want to talk about Thursday flipping investments. Now, I believe the market is going to go up on Thursday, but it's going to be for specific markets. Uh, I'm going to show you guys a couple of different cards that I like for Thursday flipping. As always, the guide for Thursday flipping will be in the Discord by tomorrow morning. So, get involved with our, uh, our free Discord. It's free trading tips, free investments, all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's in the description. Sub to the YouTube. You guys are new right here. We're very close to 7k subs. I think we're at like 8 subs away. So get involved with that. Sub if you're new right here. Let's say we're 150 likes in the video. That'd be awesome. And then get involved with us over on Twitch. I should be live again later tonight on Twitch if you want to ask some questions. So let's talk about it, right? Let's talk about Thursday flipping. Now, again, I try to do these little videos for you guys to kind of give you guys a... Uh, a pathway to making some profit on Thursdays what cards people are looking out for the only thing that I cannot control is over investment but I can take a look through some of the cards right now and show you guys if maybe they might be over investing a little bit we're gonna talk a lot, a lot of different things in this video so sit back and just take in some of the information in this video so let's first we gotta look at the pop of the page now you obviously have all these roads to the finals uh, that just came out today but guess who you have right here is a top so what I think might happen this week is Thursday might be that week where League on specials may go up even more. Okay. Now they're already up in price. A lot of them. Um, is there a way I can look at uh, links right here? Right. We can take a look at weak links here. Um, we've got uh, Ben Yeter. Obviously none of that. Let's go down here. Right. You've got Lopez. You've got um, guys like the pies in form. Right. A guy like the pie for me. Who I've seen in the past go up. He's currently 125k right now, right? So that would be one of those guys for me that I would probably look at buying. Maybe around the 120 and under, 115 on PS. Uh, on Xbox, one of his his graph shows he's at 113. But he's, yeah, he's about 110 right now. So try to find him at like 105 on Xbox and 120 to 115 on PS. You're going to have to get undercuts in some of these League Gun specials. But another guy that I really like as well is going to be this Kamara left back card. Um, I believe Di Maria is getting a left wing in form. So I think that a guy like this, uh, maybe at like 70k and under, being that he is a league on left back, um, I expect him to rise a little bit, right? He's not even up that much. So you could find him at 70k and under on PS. And then on Xbox, I think you can buy him at like 67, 66. Uh, and again, like, don't like just... You can be patient with some of the prices. You can, you have some time before Thursday to buy some of these cards. So I would take a look at that uh, for some League Gun specials, right? Cards that get links to this Atal card. Um, I think are going to be pretty popular going into Thursday as more and more people do the SBC. Meta Gold cards, okay? Meta Golds last week were a little over invested, in, right? But I'm not seeing that huge rise that we saw last week. Like, let me show you guys a guy like... Um, what was the card that last week didn't really rise that much? Let's take a look at a guy like Martial, okay? I don't know if he had risen that much. Let me take a look, right? He went from Sunday last week at 127, and he went all the way up to about 137 by Thursday, right? But this week, if you see right here, it's just like an even path. Like, he's been 110 almost every day, pretty much. So, again, if you could find this on the low of its fluctuation, I like Martial for, like, an investment... Now, if you look at the, you know, if you look at the game, right, uh, or the game, if you look at Fuppin, right, the team league prediction they have going here, they have Lewandowski, they have Bruno, they have Lorente, and they have Sergio Roberto and Di Maria as kind of like the face players. So what you can look at doing uh, is finding players that are not going to be in those positions that it might be affected by those team league cards so a guy like martial would work right a guy he's a united player he's french right people may be building french slash league on teams as well so french players will do very well this week i think um look at a guy like martial i think 107 106 on xbox maybe like 80k i think we'd be pretty solid for him uh and you could see him go to like hopefully like 120s that's all you're really looking for is like 120 sell for lazy buyers obviously um, that is what I'd be looking at doing uh, with this Martial card. Let's go back. Another guy that I really like, guys. I really like Ferland. Now, he's up a little bit already. He's up. He's up like 14K right now. So, you're going to find him around the 135 and under 100K on Xbox. Because right now, he's a little expensive. But because of all the people that are doing Kunde, I think this guy can go up even, even further. And Sevilla are the type of team where 
they do well in these European competitions, so he's going to get a lot of upgrades. I expect this Mendy to probably go up because of the links to Kunde. Um, so pay attention to Mendy, pay attention to Martial. Uh, Rashford should go up because he's out of packs. I think Werner could go up a little bit this week as well. Um, Son, I think, has potential to rise. Um, and honestly, I think a bombing will probably rise because he's out of packs right now. Um, and honestly, for anything else, maybe Pogba's probably going to rise again this week. Uh, again, French teams, league on hybrids, all that kind of stuff. If you look at him right here, he's 216. He goes up to 227. But it doesn't show you that you could have got him at 210 on Wednesday and sold him for 235 on Thursday. It doesn't show you that. But he did go up a significant amount last week. And he's not really up that much either. So I like him around 200k and under on PS. And then if I look at the Xbox graph, same thing. Like 165-ish would be solid for me. So those are some of the meta goals I've been looking at. That's really it in terms of the meta goals. A lot of them are probably going to get... Now, guys like Conte, guys like Varane, guys like Van Dijk, uh, Mbappe, Neymar, those kind of guys are probably going to rise anyway, but they're not investments, right? You're not going to buy a Conte for 400 k to try to sell him for 440 He might go to like 420 425 but you're not looking for him as an investment. What you're going to be looking at right now to do is you're going to be looking at past informs, past uh, special cards that will go up out of packs, obviously, right? So we've seen a guy like Firmino do well on the past couple Wednesdays, uh, uh, Thursdays, so you look right here, uh, last Sunday he was 225, he went all the way to 245 on Thursday, but he hasn't really got up that much this week, so you can find him multiple times of the day on PS around 230 and under, uh, he does get to that point, look he's 243 there, goes down to 230, so you can go on the market, and you can take a look at him at 230 and under, and you should be able to sell for like 250,000 coins, I would assume that a guy like this would probably ri rise a little bit this week. I think I have one on my transfer list at like 228. So I expect this guy to go up a little bit right there. 230 already. You could buy that. Boom. Goes up. Hopefully around 250-ish is what I'm kind of looking at for that card. Uh, another inform that I'm looking at is probably Ederson. Um, that's a guy that should rise again this week. Um, you know, maybe find him at like 75-ish. Uh, you could see him probably rise a little bit. Uh, 76.5. Try to find him around uh, 75k. He went to 84 last week. Um, that would be solid for me in terms of Ederson. Um, more informs. There's a ton of more informs you can look at doing now. Uh, you've got like inform uh, Alejandro Gomez. Now, this is a guy that always does well on Thursdays as well. He's super rare. Okay. Now, multiple times a day, this guy, right? And right now, I think he's like 220s. Yeah, 226. You can find this at 215. You could probably get him to sell for 235 as well. It's all about looking at the graphs of these cards, right? We just talked about with uh Firmino right it's all about looking at the graphs of cards um and seeing at their lowest point and that's what you're going to be getting the card for it's all about being patient finding your buy price look at the graph see where they went to last week you went from 207 all the way to 232 on Saturday if you see him right here he dipped again back down to 220s but multiple times a day you can find this guy on a low so you see 234 down to 220 up to 230, down again to 217, up again to 230, now down again to 225. So you could find a 215, and the same would apply on Xbox. You would try to look at the graphs and get a little bit underneath that uh, for for me, pretty much. Another thing you guys want to look at, uh, Info Malikovic Savage could do well this week as well. Um, his rise has actually been quite phenomenal out of packs. Uh, if you look at him right here, Malikovic Savage, let's show you guys. Um, 60,000 coins here, right? Um, he was in packs at 35k, so he's almost doubled in price here. He went to 63 on Thursday and Friday. So maybe you try to find him at like 57, 58 on PS, because it looks like he does fluctuate there sometimes. 59, 58. Yeah, try to get him at like 57, 56 uh, for Serie A teams. I don't think we're getting any Serie A midfielders. Uh, no, we're not, so that's good. Uh, with this card, again, 55, 54 on Xbox will probably be solid. Um... So, look at the past informs, past team weeks. Inform Zaha would be another guy for me that would probably go up a little bit this week. Uh, again, Bruno's the only guy that's in here. Ali Watkins, I understand he's in the team. But different price points, right? Like, Ali Watkins is not going to be 250k card. This Zaha, you're going to want to try to find him around the 225 mark. He hit 225 today, man, and then he went back to 238. Again, these guys fluctuate. Watch my YouTube video from last night about special card trading. It'll show you how to trade with these informs a little bit. So look for past team of the weeks. Look for some rule breaker cards as well. Rule breakers could go up this week. Now, we were looking at that prediction right here, right? 
Lorente is being shown as a center attacking mid. That might be false though. I have heard that he could be getting put in as a right mid. If that is the case, on Wednesday, what you're going to see happen is this guy go from 320k, immediately shoot up in price. Because people would value the central card over the right mid card because you would have to switch in game. It'd be more of an issue. Uh, this guy right now has been dropping since his peak of 460 almost on Saturday since he had a good performance in um, the Athletic Madrid game. This guy would go up a lot tomorrow. So at 6 p.m. tomorrow, you want to look for this card uh, for a decent price because if he gets confirmed as a right mid, this guy's going to start rising. Um, I'll be looking at a compost. I believe Di Maria is going to be a left wing, not a right wing from what I'm hearing. Um, so I would take a look at a guy like a compost again. 115-ish on that on PS is fine. Um, like I said, Kamara is good. I think Andre could go up as well still. Just because of the league on specials, I think he could still rise. Um, so that's what I'd be looking at, guys. Past informs, past specials that have gone up in the previous weeks. I'd be looking at that. Now, another thing I'd be looking at, and most importantly, is the freaking icons, man. Icons always do well on Thursdays, right? You're going to want to look for like a 430 on both consoles for Xbox and P PS on Crespo. That should go up this week. Find any icon on the Wednesday um, that is a little bit lower in price. So we talked about last week Lampard, right? We showed you guys Lampard's graph last week, but I want to show you why I was so confident in that card. So he's 355 right now. I've seen multiple 330s, and I've seen some 320s. We were showing you guys on Tuesday when he was 338, but we both wanted 320. He then goes to 335 on Wednesday. He shoots up to 368 by Friday morning. So that shows you like how much of a rise these guys have. Um with icons so take a look at the pgp page for the icons the most used ones um you'll find guys like a two so will probably go up another 30 40 key from here haji goes to 500k um a guy like who would rather be a good one that's a kind of lower budget ian wright goes to like 440 ish this guy goes to 650 um this larson goes to 430 ish right find prices that are good that are like a 10 15 a k undercut uh, on the card, you could find deals all day on X on PS and Xbox. On Wednesday, there's no rush in buying these cards. You could try to buy them at rewards as well if you want. But yeah, Icon should do very well to on Thursday. Um, obviously, I talked about the gold meta cards. I talked about the pass in forms, all that kind of stuff. Now, the last thing about this video, and if you have stay, if you stuck to this video, you will make a decent amount of coins, right? If you there's two things you should do you should try to buy cards with hunters and shadows if they're forward you want to buy with a hunter if they're shadow it's going to be defenders obviously you're going to want to lazy list these cards right so for me on thursday because i know that the market is going to rise if i were to buy a guy like uh alejandro gomez here at 215 210 um i would list at 240 plus because odds are this guy is not really going to drop that much um at all i don't think so and i don't think these guys are really over invested in that much either because i'm not seeing as big rises this week as i saw last week and they still had gone up a little bit on thursday so i expect the info market to go up and the rule breakers to go up again they're super rare and they will rise in my opinion icons take a look at please take a look at icons uh and try to find deals on them all you gotta do is look at graphs it's very very simple list for lazy buyers on thursdays guys list for lazy buyers um and i think that's pretty much it in terms of what's gonna be going on um yeah that's pretty much it for this thursday video sell for lazy buyers get them with hunters and shadows and i appreciate you guys supporting the, li uh, the live streams the videos all that kind of stuff thank you for watching appreciate it comment subscribe if you're new right here and i'll talk to you guys in the video soon peace out